Parts for mounting the motor can be found inside the masking disc of the reducer's input. Shipped with your reducer is the motor coupling, four stainless steel motor bolts, mounting instructions, and the paper motor hub mounting gauge. The horsepower capacity is shown on the reducer's nameplate. Check the motor nameplate to make sure it is the correct horsepower, frame size, and speed for the reducer. Leave the motor coupling sleeve inside the motor adapter. The sleeve should move freely in an axial direction. Make sure the O-ring is seated in the groove of the motor adapter face. Slide the motor coupling onto the shaft to ensure it is the correct size. Mount the coupling with the hub projection toward the step or shoulder of the motor. The coupling must be located correctly on the shaft. Failure to correctly locate the coupling on the motor shaft may cause thrust loads, which can cause premature failure of either the motor bearings or motor adapter bearings. Use the paper gauge for quick installation. Match the gauge opening to the motor adapter size, which can be found on the nameplate. With the coupling hub located at the correct distance, tighten the set screw in the coupling. For ease of installation, secure the motor shaft key. Staking near the end of the keyway or on the sides of the key works well, or use a temporary adhesive. With the coupling secure, insert the motor shaft into the motor adapter. The coupling sleeve is already installed on the mating reducer coupling hub inside the motor adapter. With the motor in place, install and tighten all motor bolts. If your motor has weep holes in the mounting face, plug all weep holes. Water or other material can enter the reducer through these weep holes and cause the motor adapter bearing to fail. This is important for all mounting positions, especially in EL5 mounting, as the motor adapter cavity can fill with water, significantly reducing gearbox reliability. Stober, geared to a higher standard.